Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss very interesting problem, and it is not just a problem I am going to solve today. The purpose of this video is to tell you advanced concepts. So what I will be doing the same problem I will be solving using three method. Okay, first method will be using lead lag. Second, using advanced aggregation, very important. You will learn definitely something new here. And third one is quite a tricky one. And I think this is a must watch solution. It will help you in many other questions as well in interview questions. Okay. First two are very intuitive and easy to understand. So let's let's discuss the problem statement. So we have this table. In this table, we have seat numbers, and the second column is telling if the seats are empty or not. Okay. We have to find all the seats where three or more consecutive seats are empty. For example, if you say the seat number four, five, six, all three are empty, right? So we want four, five, six in output. Similarly, if you see these four seats, eight, nine, ten, eleven, they are all empty, right? So I want eight, nine, ten, eleven also in the output. So there will be seven rows in the output. I hope this is clear. Okay. So let's move on to the solution. First one using lead lag. Okay. So here is a new window. So let's understand first what we are going to do with lead lag, right? So how do we check all the all the numbers where seats are empty, right? So if you see to have three seats consecutively empty for each row, how I have to check? For this row, I will check if the previous two rows are both empty. And next two rows are empty, so current row should be empty, right? Along with that, two more rows should be empty, either previous or next. So for this row, if you see, because this row is in output, so next two rows are empty, right? So this will qualify. Now for this, what will happen? One previous row is empty, and one next row is empty. So this will qualify. Now for the sixth one, previous two rows are empty. So this is qualified. So we have to check three conditions for any particular row, either previous two or next two, or previous one and next one are empty. Then we will to take those seats as empty seats, right? Well, let me do this do this using lead lag function. Then you will understand, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say lead is empty. I'm going to take one. Let's take lag first. Okay, so this will give me previous row over order by seat underscore number. Okay, as I will say it as previous one. Okay, let's take one more column. This will be lag two. I will say previous two. Okay, so this is my previous row, and now what I'm going to do? I will take next rows also using lead. Lead, lead. Okay, and this will be two, and this is next one, and next two. And I am going to run this, and I will show you what's happening here. So, if you see, for the four, five, six are consecutive, right? So, if you see for four, current is empty, right? And next one and next two both are empty, right? For the fifth, current is empty, and previous one and next one are empty. For six, if you see. Current is empty, obviously, and previous one and previous two are empty, right? Hope it is clear. So four, five, six will qualify, right? So what I'm going to do? I will use use it as sub query. Select star from this. Okay. Where I will say current row. Current row is by is empty, right? Should be equal to y. And 
previous one should be equal to y and previous two should all be equal to y so this is my first condition okay now what else can be done i will say or or the current row is y previous is y and next first is also y right in that case also we want output or current is y next one is y and next two is y in all these three conditions give me the output so if i run this we got seven rows four five six we got and eight nine ten eleven also we got i hope this was clear this is very intuitive very easy to understand we are just checking all three condition either next two rows are empty with the current row or previous row two rows are empty or previous one and the next one is empty right so this was method one now we will move on to method two so what method two says so i'm just going to copy this query i'll just make some modifications now what i'm going to do so there is a concept of advanced aggregation what advanced aggregation will do so let me show you something before we move so i am saying order by seat number rows between rows between 2 preceding and current row okay so what i am saying instead of just lag 1 or lag 2 see all the rows between two previous rows and current row it is similarly see we have put lead lag separately for 1 2 here what i am going to do i will do at once only so i will say look at the previous two rows and the current row okay and get the sum sum of what sum of is when is empty equal to y then 1 else 0 and if for the present row and previous two rows look at the all three rows okay in all three rows if you find if you find y then take it as 1 else 0 and do a sum now if current row and previous two rows all three are empty for all of them it will be 1 and the sum will become 3 right i think you are getting it let me put it as as rev 2 okay i will just copy this now and paste it we need only three here okay now what i am going to do so this we did like the first condition in lag we check two lags right first and second both in similar way for second one i will check rows between one preceding one previous current and following right so between i am saying so one preceding and one following so it will look at the rows one previous row from the current row and one next row similarly i will say between current row and two following right so this will be the next one dono both one one and this will be next two hope this is clear now what i have to do just select stuff from this right where either the sum of this is 3 it means this row right so previous two rows and this row the sum of all these three will be 1 because if is empty is y all will become 3 
तो प्रेव टू इक्वल टू थ्री और प्रेव नेक्स्ट वन इक्वल टू थ्री और नेक्स्ट टू इक्वल टू थ्री इफ एनी ऑफ द कंडीशन इज मीटिंग वी मीन द आउटपुट राइट इफ आई रन दिस सी फोर फाइव सिक्स वी गॉट एंड एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ऑल्सो वी गॉट राइट सो दिस इज अ स्मार्ट वे ऑफ डूइंग लीड लैग इन लीड लैग वी आर जस्ट exactly checking the previous lag and the previous lag previous one lag previous two lag instead of that we are aggregating previous two values if it is y then make one and if all three are y then they will become three similarly previous one next one and next two i hope this is clear now we are going to discuss the last method method 3 this is very 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 smart method of doing it let me show you how we can do so what i will do first select start from bms where i will just filter on is empty equal to y so i will get all the y's first okay so i got all the y's now what i will do i will generate a row number and i will tell you how i am going to use it Row underscore number order by over order by seat number. Okay, let me run this. Okay, so if you see, I will just name it as uh, then. what i will do i will subtract seat number from rn basically seat number minus rn i will do so what does that mean if that the seats are consecutive so all all are y now okay so i will say 5 6 4 5 6 are consecutive from the consecutive numbers if i subtract consecutive numbers they will the subtraction will be same so 4 minus 2 will be 2 Five minus three will be two. Six minus four will be two, right? If I do eight minus five, it is three. So it means if the the difference is same, th that means the seats are consecutive. So let me do this, then you will understand better. Seat underscore number min minus row number. Okay. If you see here, for four five six. The row number is same. The difference, sorry, this is a difference. Okay, again for eight, nine, ten, eleven. If you see, this is same. For thirteen, fourteen, also it is same. But what we will do now? We will say if if the consecutive numbers, the count of consecutive numbers is greater than equal to three, that means those are three or more consecutive chairs are empty. so what i will do i will just make ct with if num as this okay select if num sorry if from if num to so by if having count 1 greater than 1 right so what it will give me it will give me only those differences where count is greater than sorry greater than equal to 3 so let's see what it is giving so it should give only 2 and 3 right that's what we want so it is giving 2 and 3 diffs right The, the number of twos is three consecutive and three is four, right? Now, just what I have to do, I will make this as another CT. Uh, CNT as this. Select star from diff num where diff in. 
select diff from ENT. So give me only those numbers. Now I'm going to run this. Uh, okay, we have to give some name. Let's see, it doesn't matter actually, we don't even need that column. Okay, so we got 4, 5, 6 and 8, 9, 10, 11, right? So this was a very smart way of doing it. I hope you understand all three concepts and please do like the videos, share with your friends. And if you have any other method of doing it, please do comment. I will put the script, insert and create a script in the comment box. Thanks for watching it. Bye-bye.